Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing today? I'm at work, getting my day started. Woo! Got a button on my shirt. What am I doing here? Trying to be a stretcher man, showing off my non-existent chest hairs. Okay. Alrighty. Um, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Today, I am trying Jacobson's Original Melon. Made in Gotland. This is, well, obviously, I'm assuming it's melon flavor. I am catching hints of melonish scent. Oh, haven't even opened the can yet. I can already smell it through the can. This one is good. I got until March 25th for this baby. Alrighty. Let's open it up and get the show on the road. Swedish Noose. Uh, this is a 20 gram original portion size can here. They say the strength is three out of four circles. We'll see. All right, oven. Woo! Wow. Woo, that's pungent. <clears throat> the melon flavor just reaches up and slaps you across the face. It's not... I want to say like a cantaloupe melon. It's not really coming across as watermelon. It's more cantaloupe, honeydew type melon. A nice sweet cantaloupe. Nice sweet honeydew. If they have those melons over in Sweden, which I assume they probably do. Wow. Here's your portions. They are original portions. They're nice and moist. Let's see if they taste as good as they smell. Mm. First impression, melon. <clears throat> like a cantaloupe. Yeah. It's like I'm having a cantaloupe for breakfast. I'm getting some tingle which means this might be stronger than what I'm anticipating. We'll find out. Um, one thing I'm gonna start doing for these, um, once I pop them in my mouth like this, the initial taste comes through, I'm gonna hit the pause button, start going about my day. I'll be back in about 10, 15 minutes and just let this flavor develop. I'm getting a lot of tingle. I might be in trouble. Mm -hmm. We'll find out. But yeah, the melon flavor is coming through real strong. It's not incredibly sweet. It's just like I stuck a chunk of cantaloupe in my lip. That's what I'm getting right now. And I like cantaloupe. I haven't had one in ages. I don't remember the last time I had cantaloupe. Uh, I've been avoiding fruits and vegetables on my diet, trying to become half the man I am today. So we shall see. I will return with a report momentarily. Okay. Been about... 12 minutes or so, melon, slight hint of tobacco, more melon, not real sweet, it's just, it's like I stuck a chunk of cantaloupe in my upper lip, um, it's actually pretty good, just enough sweetness to give you that melon flavor, but there's no salt to speak of. Um, I'm getting hints of the tobacco, just a hint of the tobacco-y bitterness that's in there. But yeah, the melon is shining through. Um, this is actually pretty darn enjoyable. Uh, it's different, very different. It's not a mint, a winter green, a natural, you know, anything like that. It's, it's melon. I like melon. If you like melon, check this stuff out. It's pretty darn good. A um, little bit of Oregon lore. Um, in November of 1970, maybe 1971, a dead whale washed ashore on the beaches near Florence, Oregon, about an hour north of here. Um, Department of Transportation was tasked with the job of removing the carcass. They couldn't figure out what to do. The whale was starting to become rather pungent. 
Um, the locals, the whole beach was just, it just reeked. People were complaining about the smell and the winds were blowing it inland. They figured the whale weighed between eight and nine tons. Yeah, it wasn't a small whale. It was, you know, you're talking, you know, 16 to 20,000 pounds of whale. Well, the Department of Transportation, in their wisdom, they ran out of options and trying to figure out. And someone said, hey, let's take a bunch of dynamite and blow that sucker up. You blow it into little bits and then the seagulls and the crabs will feast on what's left and it'll wash out and that'll be done with the whale. Yeah. So that's what they did. They took about five or 600 pounds of explosives, crammed them underneath the whale, and then they set them off. Luckily for us, a film crew was there to document this whale removal. Um, it worked. It worked too well. Um, I'm going to put a link to the one of the films of the great Oregon exploding whale up here for your enjoyment and amusement. I'm not gonna spoil what happened. Let's just say that it was very spectacular with some unexpected results that ended, yeah. <clears throat> Let's just say, <coughs> <coughs> Let's just say the Oregon Department of Transportation has never blown up a whale since. I'm just gonna leave that right there. So, Jacobsons, or if you're Sweden, Jacobsons, the Jacobsons melon in the original portion. A little bit of sweetness, not much. Melon coming through wonderfully. Nicotine, it's moderate, moderate high on the nicotine level. I mean, I'm feeling it, but it's not bowling me over. But it's definitely got some nicotine in there. Nice, moist portions, full of flavor. Sits well in your lip. And this flavor, it started off a little bit on the strong, then it backed down, and it's been holding steady. Um, so it's a very nice, refreshing change of pace <clears throat> from your standard flavors of snooze. So if you're looking for something different, and you like melon, like cantaloupe, honeydew-type melon, give this a try. This is definitely, definitely something different, and it's quite enjoyable. Anyway, this has been Mikey. This has been Jacobson's. Original portion melon, made in Sweden by the Swedes who know their snus. And I will put a link to the Great Oregon Exploding Whale news report. You guys ought to get a kick out of that. So, yeah. Anyway, I will catch you all later. I need to get to work. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.